let's take a look at document reports in the Verify mobile app. We'll be looking at the iOS app, but the steps are much the same for Android. Let's get started by tapping the reports icon in the bottom navigation bar. Before we look at custom reports that we can request from the app, I just wanted to mention Verify's automated monthly reports. At the start of each month, Verify automatically generates a report that covers the previous month's activity. In these reports, you will see an expenditure summary and breakdowns of spend by day and by top vendors and categories for the month. And finally, there is a list of all documents collected throughout the month. On top of these automated monthly reports, we also have the ability to generate custom reports with flexible filters. To do that, start by tapping the plus icon in the top right corner. First, we can either select a predefined date range or tap into the dates to choose a custom range. Next, we can choose whether our transactions will be grouped by tags, payment types, categories, or without any grouping. The last option on the screen allows us to generate either a CSV or PDF document. If you've connected your account to QuickBooks Desktop, you will also be able to generate an IIF report to import your data into QuickBooks Desktop. Tap the next button at the top to continue. Here we can further filter out transactions by a specific team member, specific tags, and specific categories. We can also choose to only include documents marked as reimbursable, and also whether archive documents should also be included. If this option is enabled, active as well as archive documents will be included, otherwise you will only get active ones. Tap the next button at the top of the screen, and you will get a quick summary of the report you're about to generate. Once the report is ready, a copy of it will be sent to the email address that you use to sign into your Verify account. If you'd like a copy sent to another email as well, you can add that into the CC field. Finally, tap the Create Report button. The report I just requested appears at the top of the list here, and we can see by the orange indicator to the left of the report name that the report is currently being processed. It typically takes one or two minutes for a report to be generated, so come back to this screen after a few minutes and pull the list down to refresh it. If the orange indicator changes to green, it's ready to view. You'll also notice that the report name is bold to indicate that it hasn't been viewed yet. Let's take a look at what's in the report. Just like in the monthly report, it starts with a quick summary of totals, and then we see all the individual income and expenses. In my case, each document has multiple line items, each of which appears on a separate line in this table. Documents that don't have a line item breakdown on them will appear here on a single line instead. As we continue scrolling, we next see small version images of the documents included in the report, and finally we have large versions of the same images. If you intend on printing your reports but want to exclude either or both versions of these images, you can exclude those page ranges from your print options. What we just looked at was a PDF report. Let's take a look at the same report but in CSV format. We can see that this report was grouped by category. First we have the job supplies documents, then meals and entertainment, and finally travel. CSV documents aren't able to have images embedded, so a link to each image is included in this document link column. As we continue scrolling across, we can see the main benefit of CSV reports, which is that they can fit a lot more data in them. That covers reports in mobile apps. If you'd like even more control over your reports, down to even selecting which columns you'd like to include, sign into your account online at hub.verify.com and look for the reports section in the main menu on the left. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, reach out to us at support at verify.com.